Well, a little before noon, we got a call of a fire and explosion at, at the building you see right here. Uh, there was a forklift propane filling accident Operation. with fire and explosion, injured uh, the forklift operator. Our units arriving on scene found uh, fire involving the forklift, um, and the forklift was still connected to the larger propane tank that was filling it. Uh, so after moving the, the patient to a safe ground for treatment, we began treatment of the patient as well as firefighting operations. Uh, we have crews moving in right now to affect uh, closing the valves on the larger tank to shut down the flow of propane and to reduce the risk of a larger, uh, more dangerous explosion. Through talking with the employees, found that the valves were not closed, and so we feel that this could go on all day if we don't go in and shut it off. It's not just a matter of burning up the, the existing fuel in the forklift itself, but we have a 1,200 gallon tank that could burn all day. So uh, it's a dangerous situation, but we're going to put cooling streams in place and have teams go in to shut those valves. We had to evacuate the building just because of the nature of what, what's burning and the uh, volatility of the the propane tanks it would have done a lot of serious damage to the whole complex. Just as a precaution, we have the hazmat team here, just in case anything further develops.